Those of you of a certain age may remember uh, in the late 1980s, the Eastern European dictator, Nicolae Ceausescu, uh, who was uh, dictator of Romania for a great many years until he was quite summarily overthrown. Um, and this all went down live on television. Uh, the guy came out onto the balcony of his presidential palace in the square in Bucharest, Romania, and started waving to the crowd, thinking they were roaring for him, and realized they were roaring at him. Moments later, they broke into the palace, took him out back, and shot him. Well, we've all had moments like that. So this poem is the Ceausescu moment. As birds vandalize the eye of the rising dawn, as whales blather on in the cathedral of the sea, as the skull's plate tectonics dance a slow ballet, as the amber buzzsaw of one galactic year spins, as an upwelling of dread, rich and harsh, breaks free. So comes the Ceausescu moment. When you stand on your balcony, overlooking the town square, and realize that not only is nature indifferent. Rust Wars. This poem is dedicated to my hometown of Mansfield, Ohio, which was recently featured in an article in Mother Jones magazine talking about Rust Belt towns that collapsed in the 1970s and have never really recovered since. It's like, <laughs> nice to see how quick on the draw they were reporting about that. <laughs> Rust Wars. You figured out what was happening, 12 years old, watching the twin suns rise over the rusty dust of Mansfield, Ohio. But everyone else, sand people, were blinded by a cynical, feel-good, patriotic acting emperor and knee-jerk hot-button issues. The raiders, the financial rapists, flayed your family, left Westinghouse, Ohio Brass, Armco, and GM in smoking ruins. A Grand Canyon was carved out of the rust there in the 70s. It's dug deeper ever since. After 30 years, word is only now leaking out to the rest of the galaxy that a home planet was destroyed one morning, Princess. I don't know why they're here so late. Shouted I have for 30 years losing friends to my sharp tongue. But who can look me in the eye? And who can say I was wrong? Once teaching the masses was gnawed as wasted time. Darth Trump could distract the grunts long enough, bread in circuses, to sell out a land of labor to the lowest bidder in order to turn a quick buck. Forget the new gilded age. The guilt wore off, and we're staring the black eye sockets of a new dark age. Kneel now. Start piling on the filth in the fields. Help, I'm being repressed. The old peasant posture at the foot of a king once more. What rough beast slouches to a Cleveland to be born? The dark matter of the universe is greed. Wall Street is building a Death Star. I'm going to raise this X-wing fighter out of the swamp for you now. I hope you well I've taught. <laughs> and this one is a, a debut tonight. I've been working on this poem for months. And uh, I want to try and see if I've finally caught this one. It's a difficult one. I am Carlos. I am very tired. Can't walk much without nurse. It's hard to eat. My teeth don't need. 
my jaw is long. I swallow food whole. My stomach is weak. I don't write too good. I learned when I was 20. Why'd they wait? Before he died, my father, the king, said we have to get him a wife now. Others wage war. Habsburgs marry. I am a Habsburg. I am a very pure blood. There are not too many pure blood princesses anymore. Marie Louise was very pretty. We tried to make babies. I am cursed. And then she died. I married Maria Anna. No better. I don't feel much like a king. My mother, she is regent. She tells me what to do, always. One time I would not sign her paper, and she yelled at me for two hours that I was unfit, worthless. I cried and signed. I tried to stop the burnings after the Inquisition. 120 people. I cried then too. The bishop burned the report. I made them right. Seven of my eight grandparents are descendants of Queen Juana. Everyone whispers Juana the mad. They whisper of me too. They tell me I am bewitched and I surely believe it. Such are the things I suffer. Hair fallen out, lungs rasped raw. I know now that the witches have me. I won't see 40. I long for death and pray that heaven is a place not so pure. Thank you. My poem that is in the Ides of March Anthology is Rubicon. I wish I could file you away. But it's like listening to a favorite piece of music. Even after a hundred spins, my ears overturn new things. And I wonder how I miss those strands, those relationships. Time doesn't lessen pain. It just puts it further down the road. But if all roads lead to Rome, then you were its empire. And some nights Tchaikovsky drives me over the Rubicon of time. And I gather my legions prepared to march and seize what should rightly be mine. Somewhere around dawn, I remember your husband, sweet and sane and good for you. Not to mention your baby boy, and I dismiss my goal. Yet I shall always believe you spend some portion of every day eyeing the Appian Way in case your heart should flutter like a distant regimental flag snapping in the noonday sun.